Hello class. Today we're going to be talking about in this video the position of the forum frame and magnum and what it has to do with bipedalism. So we're going to specifically focus on the position of the frame and magnum. And in front of me I have three skulls, that of a human, a chimpanzee, and Australopithecus afarensis. Over and over, we're going to be looking at Australopithecus afarensis. This is the species of the famous specimen Lucy. Lucy is an Australopithecus afarensis. So we're going to look at these three skulls, uh, crania, and look at the position of the foramen magnum. Let's start with the chimpanzee. So if I turn the chimpanzee this way, you can see the foramen magnum is not only oriented, uh, located at the rear of the skull, but it is also oriented so it's angled. You can see this? It's not parallel to the floor. And the nuchal region, so let me just turn it this way, the nuchal region points towards the back. So it's elevated and points towards the back. Remember when we looked at the skull and the monkey, this is similar to a quadruped. So if I were going to take this skull and try to put it on top of the skeleton of a human, it would go on something like this so that the skull is oriented looking straight up in the air. Uh, in reality, it orients on its own skeleton like this, where you can see the foramen magnum points out to the back and the nuchal region is up. Okay, so now let's take a look at the human skull. In the human cranium, we can see that the foramen magnum is nowhere near the back. It's more at the base of the skull, so its location is at the base of the skull, and you can see it is oriented downward, not outward. So if we take this skull and place it on the skeleton of a human, it's going to be oriented like this, just like ours is. And you can see the nuchal region. I'm going to slowly move over here. You can see the nuchal region is all mostly at the base, so our neck muscles are downward, not outward. So this is orientation for bipedal motion. If we try to stick this skull on that of a chimpanzee skeleton, we'd end up like this. Not a very evolutionary positive way to be moving about, sulking all the time. So, okay. So now, the position of foramen magnum is one way to tell that something is bipedal or quadrupedal, right? So now let's take a look at uh, Australopithecus afarensis skull, or cranium. If you take a look at this, you see that most of the features are very similar to the chimpanzees, much more similar to the chimpanzee than the human cranium. But now let's take a look at the position and angle of the foramen magnum. Take a look at that. Look at the nuchal region. It has a similar shape to the chimpanzee, but now it's oriented downward. Look at the foramen magnum. It's more at the base of the skull, and it is oriented downward, not outward. So if we were going to take Australopithecus afarensis skull and place it on top of a human skeleton, it would be comfortable, right in the right place. So the eyes would be looking outward. The neck muscles would be oriented downward. I'll just put it to the side here for a second. You can see that the nuchal region is oriented downward, and the foramen magnum is oriented downward. Lucy's species was bipedal. They moved around on two legs like humans. So in that one aspect, this cranium is much more like a human's than a chimpanzee's.